about a job interview. Conversation 1. Hi Mary. How are you? Hi John. I'm a bit nervous. I have a job interview tomorrow. Really? That's exciting. What's the job for? It's for a marketing position at a big company. That sounds great. Are you ready for the interview? I think so. I've prepared answers to common questions and researched the company. That's good. Do you have your resume and documents ready? Yes, I printed everything out last night. Perfect. Do you know what you're going to wear? Yes, I picked out a professional outfit. I want to make a good impression. You will. Just be confident and be yourself. Thanks, John. I'm just worried about getting too nervous. It's normal to be nervous. Take deep breaths and stay calm. I'll try that. Thanks for the advice. No problem. Good luck. You'll do great. Thanks. I'll let you know how it goes. Please do. I'm sure it will go well. I hope so. See you later. See you. Good luck. Conversation 2 Hi Mary. How are you? Not so great. I had a job interview today, and it didn't go well. Oh no, what happened? I was really nervous, and I messed up some of the answers. That's tough. What kind of questions did they ask? They asked about my experience and how I handle stress. I stumbled over my words. I'm sorry to hear that. Did they seem understanding? Not really. They looked disappointed. That's frustrating. It's hard when you're nervous. Yes, I feel like I blew my chance. Don't be too hard on yourself. It happens to everyone. I know, but I really wanted this job. There will be other opportunities. You'll get better with practice. I hope so. I just feel really down right now. It's okay to feel that way. Just remember to keep trying. Thanks, John. I'll try to stay positive. That's the spirit. Good luck with your next interview. Thanks. I'll need it. See you later. See you, take care. About social gossip. Conversation 1 Hey Sarah. Did you hear the news about Tom and Lisa? No, what happened? They broke up last week. Really? I thought they were happy together. Yes, that's what everyone thought. But I heard they had a big fight. That's surprising. Do you know what the fight was about? No, I'm not sure. But people are talking about it a lot. Wow, that's big news. How are they doing now? I saw Tom yesterday. He seemed okay. I haven't seen Lisa yet. It must be hard for both of them. Yes, breakups are always tough. I hope they'll be all right. Me too. It's sad when relationships end. Yes, it is. Thanks for telling me. No problem. See you later. See you. Conversation 2 Sarah, did you hear the latest gossip about Tom? No, what happened? People are saying he got into trouble at work. Really? What did he do? 
They say he was caught being dishonest with his reports. That's terrible. I can't believe it. I know. Everyone is talking about it. How did you hear about it? Jane told me. She said she heard it from Mark. That's bad news. Do you think it's true? I'm not sure, but where there's smoke, there's fire. Poor Tom. This could ruin his career. Yes, and it's sad to see everyone spreading rumors. I hope it's not as bad as it sounds. Me too. But you know how people love to gossip. Yes, it's hard to stop rumors once they start. Exactly. Anyway, I just hope things get better for him. Yes, me too. Thanks for letting me know. No problem. See you later. See you. About a heavy snowfall. Conversation 1. Did you hear the weather forecast? No, what did they say? There's a heavy snowfall alert for tonight. Really? How much snow are we expecting? They said about 10 inches. Wow, that's a lot. We should be prepared. Yes, I agree. Do you have enough food and supplies? I think so, but I might need to get some extra groceries. Good idea. I'll do the same. Better to be safe. And make sure you have a shovel ready. We might need to clear the snow. Yes, I already checked it. Do you need any help? I might. Thanks for offering. No problem. Stay safe and warm. You too. See you later. See you. Conversation 2 Hey Mary. Did you hear the weather forecast? No, what did they say? There's a heavy snowfall alert for tonight. Oh no, really? How much snow are we expecting? They said about 10 inches. That's terrible. I hate driving in the snow. Me too. It's going to be a nightmare on the roads. And I was planning to go shopping tomorrow. Now I might have to cancel. Same here. I had plans, but I don't think it's safe to go out. This snow is ruining everything. I hope it doesn't last long. I know. And shoveling the snow is such a hassle. Yes, I'm not looking forward to that. My back always hurts after. Maybe we can help each other. It might make it a bit easier. That's a good idea. Thanks, John. I just hope it stops soon. Me too. Stay safe and warm. You too. See you later. See you. About finding a parking place. Conversation 1 Hi, Mary. How are you? Hi, John. I'm fine. How about you? I'm good, thanks. I just had a hard time finding a parking place. Really? Where did you park? I had to park three blocks away. All the spots were full. That's annoying. It's always hard to find parking around here. Yes, it is. Do you know any good places to park? Sometimes I park in the garage on Main Street. It's usually not too crowded. I'll try that next time. Is it expensive? It's not too bad. I think it's $5 for a few hours. That's reasonable. Thanks for the tip. No problem, John. 
I hope it helps. I hope so too. I'm tired of walking so far. I understand. Good luck finding a better spot next time. Thanks, Mary. See you later. See you. Conversation 2 Hi, Mary. How are you? Hi, John. I'm so frustrated. Finding a parking place was a nightmare. Really? What happened? I drove around for 30 minutes and couldn't find a single spot. That's terrible. Where did you end up parking? I had to park five blocks away. It's so inconvenient. I hate when that happens. This area is always so crowded. Yes, it's impossible to find parking here. I'm always late because of it. Maybe we should try parking garages, but they can be expensive. I know, but I don't want to pay so much just for parking. It's frustrating. I wish there were more parking spaces. Me too. It's really affecting my day. I understand. I've had the same problem. Hopefully, it gets better. I hope so. Thanks for listening. No problem. I hope you find a better spot next time. Thanks, John. See you later. See you. About Office Affairs Conversation 1 Hi, Jake. How's your day going? Hi, Emma. It's been busy. There's a lot happening in the office. Really? What's going on? Have you heard about the new project? No, I haven't. What is it about? It's a big project for a new client. Everyone is talking about it. That sounds exciting. Who's leading the project? Sarah is in charge. She's been really stressed lately. I can imagine. Leading a big project must be tough. Yes, and there's also some gossip about people not getting along. Oh no, that's not good. Who's having problems? I heard that Tom and Lisa had a big argument yesterday. Really? I hope they can work it out. It's important to get along. Yes, it is. It's hard to work when there's tension. Absolutely. I hope things get better soon. Me too. Anyway, how's your work going? It's going well. I'm just trying to keep up with everything. That's good. Let's hope the office gets back to normal soon. Yes, let's hope so. Thanks for the update. No problem. See you later. See you. Conversation 2 Hi, Jake. How's your day going? Hi, Emma. Not great. The office is a mess right now. Really? What's going on? There's a lot of tension. People are arguing about the new project. Oh no. Who's involved? Tom and Lisa had a big fight yesterday. They don't agree on the project plan. That's not good. It's hard to work when there's conflict. Yes, and it's affecting everyone. The whole team is stressed. I can imagine. Is there anything being done to fix it? Not really. Sarah is trying, but it's not helping much. That's frustrating. It's important to have a good working environment. I know. And to make things worse, deadlines are getting tighter. That sounds really tough. How are you handling it? 
I'm trying to stay out of it, but it's hard when it affects my work. I understand. I hope things get better soon. Me too. It's exhausting dealing with all this negativity. Hang in there, Jake. Hopefully, things will improve. Thanks, Emma. I hope so too. See you later. See you. Hostile gossip. Conversation one. Did you hear the latest gossip in the hostel? No. What happened? Sarah and Mike had a big argument last night. Oh no! What was it about? I heard it was about cleaning the kitchen. It got really nasty. That's terrible. I thought they were friends. Me too. But now they're not speaking to each other. That's so awkward for everyone else in the hostel. Yes, it is. It's causing a lot of tension. I hate when things like this happen. It makes living here stressful. I agree. It's hard to relax when there's drama. Do you think they'll make up soon? I don't know. They both seem really stubborn. This could go on for a while, then. What a mess! Yes, it's really unfortunate. I hope it doesn't get worse. Me too. We just have to stay out of it and hope for the best. Yes, let's try to avoid getting involved. Good idea. Thanks for the update. No problem. See you later. See you. Conversation two. Hey, Mary. Did you hear what happened in the hostel last night? No. What happened? There was a big party in room two twelve, and it got really loud. Really? I didn't hear anything. What happened? They were playing music really loud and dancing. The warden came and shut it down. Oh wow! Were there a lot of people? Yes, the room was packed. Everyone was there until the warden showed up. What did the warden do? He told everyone to leave and gave a warning to the people in room two twelve. That's crazy. I bet they're in trouble now. Yes, they might have to do some community service in the hostel. That's what happens when you break the rules. Exactly. I heard they were planning another party next week, but now I don't think they will. Probably not. No one wants to get in more trouble. True. I guess we'll see what happens. Yes, let's wait and see. Thanks for telling me. No problem. See you later. See you. About a college crush. Conversation one. Hi, Mary. How's it going? Hi, John. I'm good. Guess what? I think I have a crush on someone. Really? Who is it? It's Tom from our biology class. Oh, Tom. He seems nice. Have you talked to him? A little bit. We chatted about the last assignment. That's a good start. Do you know if he likes you too? I'm not sure. He smiled a lot when we talked, though. That's a good sign. Maybe you should talk to him more. I want to, but I get so nervous. It's normal to be nervous. Just be yourself. Thanks, John. Do you think I should ask him to study together? Yes, that's a great idea. It's a good way to spend more time together. Okay, I'll try that. What about you? Any crushes? 
Not really. I'm just focusing on my studies right now. That's smart. But if you do like someone, let me know. I will. Good luck with Tom. Thanks, John. I'll let you know how it goes. Can't wait to hear about it. See you later. See you. Conversation 2 Hi, Mary. How's it going? Hi, John. Not so great. Why? What happened? I found out my crush doesn't like me back. Oh no, how did you find out that? I saw him with someone else. That's tough. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, it really hurts. I thought we had a connection. Did you ever talk to him about your feelings? No, I was too nervous. Now I wish I had. It's hard to tell someone how you feel. Don't be too hard on yourself. Thanks, John. I just feel so embarrassed now. You shouldn't be. It's normal to have a crush, and it's okay if it doesn't work out. I know, but it still feels bad. I understand. It will get better with time. I hope so. Right now, I just want to forget about it. Take your time. Focus on other things that make you happy. Thanks for the advice. It helps to talk about it. Any time. We all go through this at some point. Yeah, I guess you're right. See you later. See you. Take care. Asking someone to dance. Conversation 1. Hey, there's a party tonight. Are you going? Yes, I'm planning to go. Are you? Yes, I'll be there. I was wondering, would you like to dance with me? Oh, that sounds fun. I'd love to dance with you. Great. I'm looking forward to it. Me too. What time are you going? I'll be there around 8 p.m. How about you? I'll be there around the same time. Where should we meet? Let's meet near the entrance. Perfect. I'll see you there. See you tonight. It's going to be fun. Yes, it will be. Bye for now. Bye. Conversation 2 Hey Mary, there's a party tonight. Are you going? Yes, I'm planning to go. Are you? Yes, I'll be there. I was wondering, would you like to dance with me? Oh, I'm sorry, John. I don't think so. Oh, okay. No problem. Is everything all right? Yes, everything is fine. I just don't feel like dancing tonight. I understand. Maybe another time then. Yes, maybe. Thanks for asking, though. Sure. I hope you still have a good time at the party. Thanks, John. You too. And I just hope you find a good dance partner tonight. Thanks. See you around. See you. About changing rooms. Conversation 1. Hi, Mary. How are you? Hi, John. I'm okay. I've been thinking about changing room. Really? Why do you want to change? My current room is too noisy. I can't concentrate on my studies. That's tough. Have you talked to the housing office? Yes, I did. 
They said there are a few rooms available. That's good news. When can you move? They said I can move next week. Do you need any help with the move? Yes, that would be great. Thanks, John. No problem. I'm happy to help. Where is your new room? It's in a quieter part of the building, near the library. That sounds perfect for studying. Yes, I hope it will be better. I'm sure it will be. Good luck with the move. Thanks, John. I really appreciate your help. Anytime, Mary. Let me know if you need anything else. I will. Thanks again. Conversation 2 Hi, Mary. How are you? Hi, John. Not great. I'm thinking about changing room. Oh, no. Why? My current room is terrible. It's always noisy, and I can't sleep. That sounds awful. Did you talk to the housing office? Yes, but they said there aren't any room available right now. That's really frustrating. What are you going to do? I don't know. I'm tired all the time and can't focus on my studies. I wish I could help. Maybe you can ask again next week. I will, but I'm not very hopeful. I understand. It's hard to live in a bad situation. Yes, it is. I just want a quiet place to rest and study. I hope something opens up soon for you. Thanks, John. I hope so too. Hang in there. Things will get better. I hope you're right. Thanks for listening. Any time. Take care. You too. About job search. Conversation 1. Hi, Mary. How are you? Hi, John. I'm okay. I'm looking for a new job. Really? How's the job search going? It's tough. I've applied to a few places, but I haven't heard back yet. What kind of job are you looking for? I'm looking for a job in marketing. I have some experience from my last job. That's great. Have you tried looking online? Yes, I've checked some job websites. I also updated my resume. That's good. Networking can also help. Do you know anyone in the field? I have a few contacts. I plan to reach out to them. That's a good idea. Sometimes, knowing the right person can help a lot. Yes, I hope it works. Do you know of any openings? I'll keep an eye out for you. If I hear of anything, I'll let you know. Thanks, John. I appreciate that. No problem. Good luck with your job search. Thanks. I need it. See you later. See you, take care. Conversation 2 Hey Mary. Are you okay? No, John. I'm feeling a bit down. Why? What happened? My job search isn't going well. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. What's happening? I've applied to many places, but I haven't gotten any responses. That's frustrating. How long have you been looking? For about two months now. It's really discouraging. I can imagine. Have you tried updating your resume or cover letter? Yes, I've done that. I still don't know why I'm not getting any calls. It's tough out there. 
Maybe the job market is just really competitive. Maybe. But it feels like I'm doing something wrong. Don't be too hard on yourself. Sometimes it just takes time. I hope so. It's just hard to stay positive. I understand. If you need any help, let me know. Thanks, John. I appreciate that. Hang in there. Something will come up eventually. I hope you're right. See you later. See you. Take care. About going out for dinner. Conversation 1. Hi, Mary. Would you like to go out for dinner tonight? Hi, John. I'd love to. Where should we go? How about the new Italian restaurant downtown? That sounds good. I've heard the food is great there. What time should we go? How about 7 p.m.? Is that okay? Yes, that's perfect. Do we need to make a reservation? I think so. But don't worry about it, I'll call and book a table. Thanks, John. You're welcome. By the way, what are you in the mood to eat? I'd love some pasta and maybe a salad. I think I'll try the pizza. I heard it's really good. Great. I'm looking forward to it. Me too. It will be nice to have a night out. Yes, we haven't gone out for dinner in a while. True. It will be a nice change. All right, let me finish my work first. Sure. And I'll make the reservation now. See you soon. See you. Conversation 2 Hi, Mary. Would you like to go out for dinner tonight? Hi, John. I don't feel like going out. I'm really tired. But we haven't been out in a long time. It will be fun. I know, but I had a long day at work. Can we do it another time? I was really looking forward to it. Can't we go for a quick dinner? I just want to stay home and relax. How about we go to a nearby restaurant? It won't take long. John, I'm not in the mood to go anywhere tonight. Okay, I understand. We can stay in. Thanks, John. Maybe we can order takeout instead? Sure, we can do that. What do you want to eat? How about some Chinese food? That sounds good. I'll order it now. Thanks for understanding. No problem. We'll go out another time. Yes, we will. Let's just have a quiet night tonight. All right. Let's enjoy our dinner at home. About calling off plans. Conversation 1 Hi, Mary. Do you have a minute? Hi, John. Yes, what's up? I think we need to call off our plans for tonight. Really? Why? I'm not feeling well. I think I'm coming down with a cold. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay, we can reschedule. Thanks. I didn't want to cancel, but I need to rest. No problem. Your health is more important. Do you mind letting everyone else know? Sure, I'll call them and explain. Thank you. I hope they understand. I'm sure they will. We can plan something for next week. That sounds good. I'll rest and hopefully feel better soon. Take care, John. 
Let me know if you need anything. Thanks. I'll just take it easy today. All right. Get well soon. Conversation 2. Honey, do you have a moment? Yes, what's going on? I think we need to call off our plans for this weekend. Oh no, why? What happened? Something came up at work. I have to finish a big project. That's too bad. But work is important. We can always reschedule. I'm really sorry. I was looking forward to it. It's okay, John. We can go another time. Thanks for understanding. I'll make it up to you. Don't worry about it. Just focus on your project. Do you mind letting the others know? Sure, I'll call them and explain the situation. Thanks, Mary. I hope they won't be too disappointed. I'm sure they'll understand. We can plan something else soon. That sounds good. I'll make sure I'm free next time. Great. Good luck with your project. Thanks. I'll need it. Take care. See you later. See you. About rain. Conversation 1. Did you see the weather today? Yes, it's raining a lot. I didn't bring an umbrella. Did you? Yes, I did. You can share mine. Thanks. The rain is so heavy. I know. It's been raining all day. Do you like the rain? Sometimes. It's nice to stay inside and read a book. I agree. It's very relaxing. But I don't like driving in the rain. It's hard to see. Me neither. It can be dangerous. Do you need to go anywhere today? No, I'll just stay home and watch a movie. That sounds like a good idea. I'll make some hot chocolate. Perfect. A rainy day with hot chocolate and a movie. Yes, it's the best way to spend a rainy day. Thanks for sharing your umbrella. You're welcome. Let's stay dry. Conversation 2 Hi, Mary. Did you see the weather today? Hi, John. Yes, it's raining a lot. I don't like it. Me neither. I forgot my umbrella and got soaked. That's terrible. I don't like driving in the rain. It's so hard to see. I agree. The roads are slippery and it's dangerous. Plus, it makes everything muddy and messy. And it's so cold and damp. I can't stand it. I wanted to go for a walk today, but now I can't. I know. Rain ruins all the plans. I hope it stops soon. I hate rainy days. Me too. I just want to stay inside and avoid the rain. Yes, it's the best thing to do. Let's just try to stay warm and dry. Good idea. I'll make some tea. Do you want some? Yes, please. Tea sounds perfect right now. All right. Let's hope the rain stops soon. Yes, I really hope so. About going to exercise. Conversation 1. Are you going to exercise today? Yes, I am. Do you want to join me? Sure. What time are you going? I'm going at 5 p.m. Does that work for you? 
Yes, that's perfect. What are you planning to do? I'm going to run in the park and then do some stretching. That sounds good. I'll bring my running shoes. Great. We can meet at the park entrance. Okay. How long do you usually run? I usually run for about 30 minutes. That's a good amount of time. I'll try to keep up. Don't worry, we can go at a comfortable pace. Thanks, Mary. I'm looking forward to it. Me too. It's always more fun to exercise with a friend. Yes, it is. See you at 5 p.m. See you then. Conversation 2 Are you going to exercise today? I don't think so. I'm really tired. Oh, I was hoping you'd join me for a run. I'm sorry, John. I had a long day at work, and I'm exhausted. I understand. Exercise might help you feel better, though. Maybe, but I just don't have the energy right now. That's too bad. I was looking forward to it. I know. I feel bad for saying no, but I really need to rest. It's okay. We can go another time. Thanks for understanding. Maybe we can go this weekend? Sure, that works. Take it easy tonight. I will. Enjoy your run. Thanks. I'll see you later. See you later. About going to college. Conversation 1 Hi, Mary. Are you ready for college? Hi, John. Yes, I am. I'm a bit nervous, though. That's normal. It's a big change. I know. I'm excited but also scared. What are you going to study? I'm going to study biology. What about you? I'm going to study computer science. That's cool. Have you met your roommate yet? Yes, I have. He seems nice. Have you met yours? Not yet. I hope we get along well. I'm sure you will. Are you taking any fun classes? Yes, I'm taking a photography class. That sounds interesting. I'm taking a coding class. Great. We should study together sometime. Yes, definitely. It will be good to have a study buddy. Agreed. Let's make the most of our time at college. For sure. Good luck. Thanks, John. Good luck to you, too. Conversation 2 Are you ready for college? Not really. I'm feeling really anxious. Why? What's bothering you? I'm worried about being away from home. I don't know anyone there. I understand. It's a big change. I feel the same way. And I'm not sure if I'll like my classes. What are you studying? I'm studying engineering, but I'm not confident about it. That sounds tough. I'm doing business, but I'm also unsure. Plus, I heard the dorms are small and not very nice. Yeah, I heard that too. I hope it's not too bad. I just wish I could stay home and study here. Me too, but we have to try and make the best of it. I guess you're right. I just hope it gets better. It will. We'll adjust and find our way. Thanks, John. I'll try to stay positive. Anytime, Mary. 
We'll get through this together. Yeah, we will. See you around. See you. Conversation about roommates. Conversation 1. How's it going with your new roommate? It's going okay. How about yours? My roommate is nice, but he's a bit messy. Oh, that's tough. My roommate is very quiet. She hardly talks. That must be awkward. Have you tried talking to her? Yes, but she just gives short answers. It's hard to have a conversation. Maybe she's shy. Give her some time. Yeah, I hope she opens up soon. How are you handling the mess? I talked to him about it. He said he'll try to be neater. That's good. Communication is important. Yes, it is. I think we'll get along better now. I hope so. Roommates can be tricky, but we'll figure it out. Exactly. It's all about adjusting and understanding each other. Right. Let's be patient and make the best of it. Agreed. Good luck with your roommate. Thanks. Good luck to you too. Conversation 2 How's it going with your roommate? Honestly, not great. We don't get along. Oh no, what's the problem? She's really messy and doesn't clean up after herself. That's frustrating. Have you talked to her about it? Yes, but she just ignores me or makes excuses. I'm sorry to hear that. My roommate is always loud and stays up late. That sounds annoying. How do you deal with it? I tried talking to him, but he didn't change. It's really stressful. I know what you mean. Living with a difficult roommate is hard. Yes, it is. I wish I could change rooms. Me too. I hope things get better soon. Let's hope so. Maybe they'll improve with time. Maybe. For now, I'll just try to stay patient. Same here. Good luck. Thanks. Good luck to you too. About family issues. Conversation 1. Honey. We need to talk about something important. Really? What is it? I'm worried about our son, Tom. He seems very quiet lately. Yes, I've noticed that too. He's not playing with his friends as much. Do you think something is bothering him? Maybe. We should try talking to him. Good idea. When should we do it? How about after dinner tonight? That sounds good. We can both sit down with him. Yes, and we should be gentle and understanding. Agreed. We need to make sure he feels safe to talk to us. Do you think it could be school-related? Possibly. Or maybe something with his friends. We need to let him know we are here for him no matter what. Definitely. I hope he opens up to us. Me too. It's important to address this soon. Yes, I don't want him to feel alone with his problems. We'll figure this out together. Thanks. Let's be there for Tom. We will. Family is the most important. Conversation 2 Honey, we need to talk about something important. What is it? I'm worried about our son. He seems very quiet lately. I've noticed, but I think it's just a phase. 
He'll be fine. I'm not so sure. He's not playing with his friends as much. Kids go through phases. We shouldn't overreact. But what if something is really bothering him? I have a lot on my plate right now. Can't it wait? I don't think it should wait. We need to talk to him. Fine, but I don't want to make a big deal out of it. We need to be gentle and understanding. I know, but sometimes you worry too much. I just want to make sure he's okay. Okay, we can talk to him after dinner, but keep it short. Agreed. We need to make sure he feels safe to talk to us. All right. Let's see how it goes. Thanks, honey. I just want to help him. I understand. We'll talk to him and see what's wrong. About going to native place. Conversation 1. Hi, Mary. We need to plan our trip to our native place. Hi, John. Yes, we haven't visited in a long time. When do you think we should go? How about next month? We have a long weekend. That sounds good. Should we drive or take a flight? I think driving would be better. It's more comfortable. All right. How many days should we stay? Let's stay for a week. That should be enough time. Agreed. We can visit family and friends. Yes, and we can also relax a bit. Do we need to inform anyone about our visit? Yes, we should call our parents and let them know. I'll call my parents, and you can call yours. Okay. Do we need to pack anything special? Just the usual clothes and some gifts for our families. Good idea. I'll start making a list. Great. I'll check the car to make sure it's ready for the trip. Thanks, John. I'm looking forward to this trip. Me too. It will be nice to go back home. Yes, it will. Let's start preparing. All right. We'll be ready in no time. Perfect. Thanks for planning this. You're welcome. Conversation 2 Honey, our families are expecting us. We need to plan our trip to our native place. Do we really have to go this time? Yes, we haven't visited in a long time. I know, but I'm so busy with work. Can't we go later? We've already postponed it twice. It's important to visit now. I'm really stressed out. Traveling will make it worse. I understand, but our families will be disappointed if we don't go. Can't you go alone this time? They want to see both of us. It won't be the same if you don't come. I guess you're right. How long do we need to stay? Just for a week. We can visit and come back quickly. All right, but I don't want to stay any longer than that. That's fine. We'll keep it short. Do we have to drive? It's such a long trip. We can take a flight if it's easier for you. That would be better. Let's book the tickets soon. Okay, I'll handle the bookings. Thank you for agreeing to go. You're welcome. I hope it's not too tiring. We'll make it as easy as possible. All right. Let's get it over with. About commute. Conversation 1 Hey Lisa. How was your commute today? Hi Ben. It was really bad. The bus was late again. 
That's frustrating. How long did you have to wait? I waited for 30 minutes. It made me late for work. That's awful. Did you talk to your boss about it? Yes, I explained the situation. Luckily, he was understanding. That's good to hear. Maybe you should try taking the earlier bus? I think I will. How was your commute? It was okay. The train was a bit crowded, but it was on time. At least it was on time. Crowded trains are no fun, though. Yeah, but I'd rather be on time than stuck waiting. True. I hope tomorrow's commute is better for both of us. Me too. Have a good day. You too. See you later. Conversation 2 Hey Mike. How was your commute today? Hi Sarah. It was okay. The traffic was really bad, though. That's annoying. How long did it take you to get to work? It took almost an hour. Usually, it's only 30 minutes. That's a long time. Did something happen? There was an accident on the highway. It slowed everything down. That's rough. I took the subway, and it was crowded but on time. Lucky you. I wish I could take the subway, but there's no station near my house. That's too bad. Have you thought about taking the bus? Yes, but the bus is usually even slower because of traffic. True. Maybe you could leave a bit earlier to avoid the rush? I might try that. Thanks for the suggestion. No problem, Mike. Hope your commute is better tomorrow. Thanks, Sarah. Have a great day. You too. See you later. About Children Conversation 1 Honey, how are the kids today? They're doing well. Sarah got an A on her math test. That's great. She worked really hard for that. Yes, she did. I'm so proud of her. How's Mike doing? He's good, too. He had fun at soccer practice. That's nice to hear. Is he getting better at playing? Yes, his coach said he's improving a lot. That's awesome. What about homework? They both finished their homework before dinner. Good. It's important they stay on top of their schoolwork. Yes, I agree. They've been doing really well lately. Do we have any plans for the weekend with the kids? I was thinking we could go to the park and have a picnic. That sounds like a lot of fun. The kids will love it. Yes, they will. It's a nice way to spend time together. Agreed. Let's do it. I'm looking forward to it. Me too. Thanks, John. You're welcome. Let's have a great weekend with the kids. Conversation 2 Hi, honey. How are the kids today? Not so good. They had a tough day. Oh no, what happened? Sarah got a bad grade on her math test. She's really upset. That's unfortunate. Did you talk to her about it? Yes, I did. She said she didn't understand some of the questions. Maybe we can help her study more for the next test. Yes, that's a good idea. She needs some extra practice. How's Mike doing? He's having a hard time, too. He got into a fight at school. A fight? 
What happened? Another kid was teasing him, and he lost his temper. That's not good. Did the school call you? Yes, they did. Mike has to stay after school tomorrow. We need to talk to him about handling his anger. I agree. He needs to learn to stay calm. Let's sit down with him tonight and discuss it. Yes, we should. I hope we can help him. We will. We just need to be patient and supportive. Thanks, John. It's been a tough day. I know. We'll get through this together. Yes, we will. Let's focus on helping the kids. Absolutely. Let's start tonight. Conversation between friends. Conversation one. Hi, Tom. How are you? Hi, Anna. I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm good too. What are you doing today? Not much. Just relaxing. What about you? I'm thinking about going to the park. Do you want to come? Sure, that sounds fun. What time? How about 3 p.m.? 3 p.m. works for me. Should we bring some snacks? Yes, that's a great idea. I'll bring some fruit. Perfect. I'll bring some drinks. Awesome. See you at the park at 3 p.m. See you then. Conversation 2. Hi, Jake. How are you? Hi, Emily. Not so great. Oh no, what happened? I lost my phone today. That's terrible. How did it happen? I think I left it on the bus. I can't find it anywhere. Did you try calling it? Yes, but no one answered. It might be gone for good. I'm really sorry to hear that. Losing a phone is the worst. Yeah, now I have to get a new one. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Thanks, Emily. I appreciate it. Anytime, Jake. I hope you find it. About making suggestions. Conversation 1. Hey, how was your day? It was good. How about yours? It was okay. Do you have any suggestions for the weekend? Yes. I have an idea for the weekend. What's your idea? How about we go to the beach? That sounds nice, but the beach might be crowded. True. How about a picnic in the park instead? That's a great idea. The kids will love it. We can bring some sandwiches and snacks. Yes, and we can play games and relax. Do you think we should invite the Smiths? That's a good suggestion. They have kids too. Perfect. I'll call them and see if they're free. Great. I'll start planning the food. Sounds good. Let's make it a fun day. Yes, it will be. Thanks for the suggestion. You're welcome. I'm looking forward to it. Me too. Conversation 2. Hi, honey. I'm confused for the weekend plans. Do you have any suggestions? Yes. I have a suggestion for the weekend. What's your idea? How about we go camping? Camping? I don't really like camping. Oh, I didn't know that. Why not? 
It's uncomfortable, and I don't like sleeping in a tent. I see. What if we rent a cabin instead? I'd prefer not to. I was hoping we could do something more relaxing. Like what? Maybe we could go to a nice hotel and just relax. That sounds expensive. I know, but we can save money by not eating out. I guess so. I just thought camping would be fun. I understand, but it's not really my thing. Okay, let's think of something else we both enjoy. How about a day trip to the countryside? That sounds nice. We can go hiking and have a picnic. Yes, that's a good compromise. Thanks, honey. You're welcome, dear. Let's plan it. About going to the bank. Conversation one. We need to go to the bank today. Why do we need to go? We need to deposit some checks and withdraw some cash. Okay. What time should we go? How about after lunch? That works for me. Do we need anything else from the bank? Yes, we need to ask about getting a new credit card. Good idea. Our old card has high interest rates. Exactly. We can also check our account balance. All right. Do you have the checks with you? Yes, I have them in my wallet. Great. Do we need to take any documents? Just our ID cards. That should be enough. Okay. Let's make sure we have everything before we leave. Agreed. We can go right after we finish lunch. Sounds good. I'll be ready. Thanks, Mary. See you then. See you, John. Conversation 2 Hi, Mary. We need to go to the bank today. Hi, John. Do we really have to? I'm so tired. Yes, we need to deposit some checks and withdraw some cash. Can't we do it tomorrow? I had a lot of work at home. The checks need to be deposited today. They're due. Fine, but I'm really not in the mood. I understand, but it won't take long. Can't you do it alone? I can. But we also need to open a new account for our business, and you're the authorized signatory for that. All right. Do we need anything else? We also need to ask about getting a new credit card. Can't we just call the bank for that? We could, but it's better to talk to someone in person. All right, let's get it over with. Do you have the checks? Yes, I have them in my wallet. Okay. I hope it doesn't take too long. It won't. Thanks for coming with me. You're welcome. Let's make it quick. We will. About going shopping. Conversation 1 Hi, honey. We need to go shopping today. Sure. What do we need to buy? We need groceries and some new clothes for the kids. Okay. What time should we go? How about we go in the afternoon? That sounds good. Do you have a shopping list? Yes, I made a list this morning. Great. Do we need anything special? We need to get some fresh vegetables and fruit. All right. What about the clothes? Let's go to the mall for that. Good idea. The kids need new shoes, too. Yes, I noted that on the list. Perfect. Should we take the car or walk? 
Let's take the car. We might buy a lot of things. True. Do you have the grocery bags? Yes, they're in the car already. Awesome. Get ready, we can leave in an hour. Sounds good. See you soon. See you. Conversation 2 Honey, we need to go shopping today. Do we have to? I'm really tired. We need groceries and some new clothes for the kids. Can't we do it tomorrow? We're out of a lot of things. It's better to go today. I don't feel like it. Can you go alone? I could, but it's easier if we both go. There's a lot to carry. I know, but I had a long day at work. I understand. Maybe we can make it quick? All right, but let's not spend too much time. Agreed. I made a list to keep us organized. Okay, what do we need? Fresh vegetables, fruit, and new clothes for the kids. Fine. Do we have to go to the mall for the clothes? Yes, it's the best place to find what we need. Okay, let's get this over with. Thanks, honey. I'll try to be as quick as possible. All right. Get ready soon. Right away. See you in a bit. See you. About paying utility bills. Conversation 1. We need to pay the utility bills today. Which bills do we need to pay? We need to pay the electricity, water, and internet bills. Did you check how much we owe? Yes, I have the bills here. The electricity bill is $100, the water bill is $50, and the internet bill is $70. Can we pay them online? Yes. We can pay them online. It's easier and faster. Okay. Do you need help with that? Yes, please. Can you log into the account? Sure, I can do that. Do you have the passwords? Yes, here they are. Let's start with the electricity bill. All right, I'm logging in now. Done. The electricity bill is paid. Great. Now let's pay the water bill. Done. The water bill is paid too. Perfect. Last one is the internet bill. Okay, logging in. Done. All bills are paid. Thanks, Mary. That was quick. No problem, John. It's important to stay on top of these things. Yes, it is. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Conversation 2 Mary, we need to pay the utility bills today. Do we have to do it today? I'm really busy. Yes, they're due tomorrow. We can't wait any longer. Can't you do it yourself? I have a lot of work to finish. I could, but I'm not sure how to do it online. It's not hard. Just follow the instructions. I'd feel better if you helped me. I don't want to make a mistake. Fine, but I don't have much time. Which bills do we need to pay? Electricity, water, and internet. Here are the amounts we owe. Okay, I'll log into the account. Do you have the passwords? Yes, here they are. All right, starting with the electricity bill. Done. Thanks. Now the water bill. Okay, done. Last is the internet bill. 
Thanks, Mary. I appreciate your help. Just make sure you learn how to do it next time. I can't always help. I will. Sorry for bothering you. It's fine. Just make sure we don't miss any payments. I'll make sure. Thanks again. You're welcome. About going to a party. Conversation 1. We have a party to go to this weekend. Whose party is it? It's our friend David's birthday party. Oh, that sounds fun. What time is the party? It starts at 7 p.m. on Saturday. Do we need to bring anything? Yes, we should bring a gift for David. What do you think we should get him? Maybe a nice bottle of wine or a gift card. Good idea. Do we need to dress up? It's a casual party, so we don't need to dress up too much. Okay, that's good to know. Who else is going? I think most of our friends will be there. Great. It will be nice to see everyone. Yes, it will. Do you want to buy the gift together? Sure. Let's go to the store after work tomorrow. Sounds good. We can also get a card for him. Yes, a card would be nice. I'll write a message in it. Perfect. This party should be fun. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. Thanks for reminding me. You're welcome. Conversation 2 Honey, we have a party to go to this weekend. Oh no. Do we really have to go? Yes. It's David's birthday party. He's our childhood friend. I know, but I'm really not in the mood for a party. I understand, but we should go for a little while at least. Can't you go without me? David will be disappointed if we both don't show up. I'm just so tired from work. I need a break. Maybe it will be good to relax and have some fun. I don't think I'll enjoy it. Parties are exhausting for me. We can leave early if you're not having fun. Just make an appearance. All right, but I don't want to stay long. That's fine. We can just stay for an hour or so. Okay. Do we need to bring anything? Yes, we should bring a gift for David. Any ideas? How about a gift card? It's easy and quick. Sounds good. We can get one tomorrow. Fine. Let's just keep it simple. Agreed. Thanks for coming. You're welcome. I hope it's not too tiring. We'll make it quick. I promise. All right. Let's get it over with. Please. About social gossip. Conversation 1 Hi, Mary. You won't believe what I heard today. Hi, John. What did you hear? I heard that Sarah and Tom are getting a divorce. Really? That's surprising. They seemed so happy. I know. I heard it from Mike at work. Did he say why they're getting a divorce? He mentioned that they've been arguing a lot lately. That's sad. I hope they work things out. Me too. It's hard to see friends go through tough times. Yes, it is. Have you talked to Tom about it? No, I haven't. I don't want to pry. Maybe we should invite them over for dinner. It might help. That's a good idea. 
we can show them our support. Yes, let's do that. I'll call Sarah tomorrow. Great. Hopefully, we can help in some small way. I hope so too. Thanks for telling me. No problem. It's good to stay informed. Yes, it is. See you at dinner. See you then. Conversation 2 Did you hear about Karen? No, what happened? Karen got a big promotion at work. Really? That's great news. Yes, but there's more. Some people are saying she only got it because she knows the boss. That's not fair. Karen works really hard. I agree. I think she deserves it. People love to gossip. They should be happy for her. Exactly. It's not right to spread rumors. We should congratulate her. She must be excited. Definitely. How about we invite her and her husband for dinner? That's a great idea. I'll call her tomorrow. Perfect. Let's make her feel celebrated. Yes, she deserves it. Thanks for telling me. No problem. It's good to stay positive. Absolutely. See you at dinner. See you then. About office work. Conversation 1. How was your day at the office? It was busy. We had a lot of meetings. What were the meetings about? We're starting a new project. There's so much to plan. That sounds like a lot of work. How do you feel about it? I'm excited, but also a bit stressed. There's a tight deadline. I'm sure you'll do great. You always handle things well. Thanks, John. How was your day at work? It was okay. I had a lot of emails to answer. That sounds tedious. Anything interesting happen? Not really. Just the usual routine. Well, at least it wasn't too stressful. True. Do you need any help with your project? Thanks, but I think I've got it for now. I just need to stay organized. You can do it. I believe in you. Thanks, John. That means a lot. Any time. Let's have a nice dinner and relax. Sounds perfect. Let's do that. Conversation 2 Hey dear. How was your day at the office? Hi honey. It was really bad. Oh no, what happened? My boss yelled at me during the meeting. That's terrible. Why did he yell at you? He was upset about a mistake in the report, but it wasn't my fault. Did you tell him that? I tried, but he didn't listen. He was so angry. I'm sorry, Mary. That's so unfair. Yes, it was. Now I have to fix everything by tomorrow. That's a lot of pressure. Can I help you with anything? Thanks, John, but I have to do it myself. I understand. Just take it one step at a time. I will. I just hope tomorrow is better. It will be. You're doing your best, and that's what matters. Thanks, John. Your support means a lot. Anytime, dear. Let's try to relax tonight. Good idea. I need a break. Let's have a quiet evening and watch a movie. That sounds perfect. 
Thanks. You're welcome. About the girl next door. Conversation 1. Hey Tom. You won't believe what happened today. What happened? The new girl next door talked to me. Really? What did she say? She introduced herself. Her name is Emma. That's nice. What else did she say? She asked if I knew any good places to eat around here. What did you tell her? I told her about the cafe on Maple Street. She seemed interested. Maybe you can ask her to join you there sometime. That's a good idea. I was thinking the same. Go for it. She seems friendly. I will. Thanks for the encouragement. No problem. Good luck. Thanks. See you later. See you. Conversation 2 Hi Tom. How's it going? Hi. Not great. The new girl next door isn't very friendly. Really? What happened? I tried to say hi to her, but she ignored me. That's rude. Maybe she didn't hear you? No, she definitely heard me. She just walked away. That's strange. Did you try talking to her again? Yes, I did. She seemed annoyed and said she was busy. I'm sorry to hear that. Maybe she's just having a bad day? Maybe. But it's happened twice now. That's frustrating. Give her some time. She might warm up later. I hope so. It's not a great feeling being ignored. I understand. Don't take it personally. Thanks, Jake. I'll try to be patient. No problem. Hang in there. Thanks. See you later. See you. About the boy next door. Conversation 1. Hi, Sarah. How are you? Hi. I'm good. Do you know the boy next door? Yes, I've seen him. Why? He talked to me today. Really? What did he say? He introduced himself. His name is David. That's nice. What else did he say? He asked if I needed any help with my garden. Wow, that's really kind of him. What did you say? I said yes. He helped me for an hour. That's great. He seems really nice. Yes, he is. He's also very friendly and funny. Maybe you can invite him over for coffee sometime. That's a good idea. I think I will. Go for it. It sounds like you two could be good friends. Thanks, Emily. I'm excited to get to know him better. You're welcome. Let me know how it goes. I will. See you later. See you. Conversation 2 Hi, Sarah. How are you? Hi. Not so good. Oh no, what happened? The boy next door is really rude. Really? What did he do? I tried to say hi to him, but he ignored me. That's not nice. Maybe he was having a bad day? I thought that too, but it happened again today. What happened this time? I asked if he could help me with my garden, 
and he just said he was too busy and walked away. That's so rude. Did he seem angry? He didn't seem angry, just uninterested. That's frustrating. Maybe he's just not friendly. Yeah, it's disappointing. I hoped we could be friends. Maybe give it some time and try again later. Maybe. Thanks for listening. Anytime, Sarah. I hope things get better. Me too. See you later. See you. About a new neighbor. Conversation 1. Hey, honey. Did you meet the new neighbor? Hi, yes, I did. Her name is Lisa. What is she like? She seems very nice. She has a little dog. That sounds cute. Did you talk to her much? Yes, we talked for a few minutes. She just moved in yesterday. Did she say why she moved here? Yes, she got a new job in the city. That's interesting. Did she need any help? She mentioned needing help with some boxes. I offered to help her tomorrow. That's great. I can help too if you need me. Thanks, John. I'm sure she'll appreciate it. No problem. It's nice to have a new neighbor. Yes, it is. I hope she likes it here. I'm sure she will. We should invite her over for dinner sometime. That's a wonderful idea. Let's do that next weekend. Perfect. Let's make her feel welcome. Agreed. Thanks, honey. Conversation 2 Did you meet the new neighbor? Yes, I did. His name is Bob. What is he like? Honestly, he seemed a bit rude. Really? What happened? I tried to say hello, but he barely looked at me and just nodded. That's not very friendly. Did you try talking to him? Yes, I asked if he needed any help with moving, and he just said, no, thanks, and walked away. That's strange. Maybe he was having a bad day? Maybe, but he didn't seem interested in talking at all. That's disappointing. I hoped we'd get a friendly neighbor. Me too. I'll give it some time and try again later. Good idea. Maybe he'll warm up eventually. I hope so. It would be nice to have good neighbors. Definitely. Let's wait and see how it goes. Okay. Thanks for listening, John. Anytime, Mary. We'll figure it out together. About Please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the notifications of our new videos and also comment. For more videos like this please check out the playlist on end screen. Thanks for watching.